Hey there, and welcome to the Nanum Advanced Tutorial Series. Uh, today we're going to be covering the tools. So if you want to learn how to use Nanum tools, become an expert, uh, do everything that um, you know, the experts would do in Nanum, uh, this is the right place. So now that you've found yourself here, I'm going to show you how to access the tools. And so you can do that by clicking on this modify menu right there. And then you'll probably be on the edit tab. If you go down to tools on the tools tab here, it'll show you all the tools. We have measurement tool, we have selector tool, torsion tool, which doesn't really look like a tool, the medchem tool, um, and then we have the drawing tool with a, a nice whiteboard here. So we'll just go ahead and go through each one step by step. Uh, we're going to start with the measurement tool, and we have a nice little you know, benzene here that we could play around with. And we're going to go ahead and start with the distance. And so distance allows us to capture you know, how far away atoms are. So if we just look at you know carbon to carbon, sort of across that benzene ring there, uh, 2.79 angstroms. So um, I'll just delete that, swiping one to the right. Or if we wanted to measure an angle, we could actually go to the angle part, and then you do one, two, three, 120 degrees, looking perfect there. So that's good. Um, or another thing is going to be the dihedral angles. So for this molecule, we can't really uh, you know, look at dihedrals yet. So we're gonna make a modification with the MedChem tool and then we're gonna look at dihedrals. So Sam, would you like to, uh, you know, do some expert MedChem work on this benzene ring here? I will try, sir, I will try. And so here I just switched to the MedChem tool. At the very top, there's a prep and a build panel. And you can see that I have auto minimize on. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a simple pentane and go ahead and add it to the structure. There we go. And you can see that it auto minimized for us. I'll go ahead and give you back presenter to do your thing. Nice. So now that we have a nice you know, molecule here with a dihedral angle, we're going to uh, select four different points. So we do one, two, three, four. And that's going to be the angle between these two and these two. So you're going to see it kind of move around. And the way that we're going to move that around is actually going to be with the torsion tool. So if we go over to torsion tool, we have this little ball in the middle of your hand. You're going to want to place that on a rotatable bond and then use your index finger. And, and, and it's kind of like twisting a doorknob. So just you know, imagining you're like opening a door here and you're twisting really around that bond. Um, yeah, you might want to you know, position a better angle just so it's, you know, it feels more natural to you. Um, yeah, you can either twist at the top or twist at the bottom. And it's going to show you the dihedral angles up at top uh, because we made those measurements. Cool. So um, let's move on to the selector tool. So before we do that, we will clean up and delete these measurements. So delete that. Uh, and actually, one cool thing. So uh, with the measurement tool. So if you have a bunch of things, like let's say we do that. Yeah, there's an angle there, and then we have like a dihedral there, and then we have a, a distance there. <laughs> and um, you could also you know, move these these points as well. So you didn't have to necessarily do it on the molecule, but you could just do it out to points in space um, and you could move them around. But you know, after time, this kind of, you know, it's a lot of stuff, it's really hard to look at. And, and so what you do is you go to delete and then you hold down in midair for about three seconds. And that's just going to delete all of your measurements. So it makes it much easier to you know, get rid of it as you're uh, going through. So cool. Let's move on to the selector tool right here. So we can see that I have my selector tool out. Uh, similarly, swipe left and right on the joystick to change the mode of the tool. And we're going to go ahead and start with the atom mode. So atoms are the, the smallest entity that you could select in nano. Uh, this is one hydrogen atom right there one carbon right there. Uh, if you wanted to get granular and, and sort of you know, pick each atom, uh, it's gonna be really important uh, for interacting with our program because you need to select things first and then once you select it, then you can do things with it. Uh, for, instance, uh, for instance, as an example, we could uh, go ahead and just load or uh, color the atom slightly different. So we're just gonna pick a color. I'll go ahead and pick this red. And now we can see the atoms we selected turned red. If we pick you know, this hydrogen here and we wanted that to be uh, black, uh, we can go ahead and select that, click that, 
So maybe hydrogens are always white, but you know what? <laughs> if you wanted to select any other element, you could change it to any other color you want and it'll go ahead and show up there. Cool. So the selector tool does a lot more than just individual atoms. And for that, we're actually gonna be looking at a protein structure we have prepared. So this is 2HIU. It's a relatively small protein on the protein data bank. And if we go back to our selector tool here, we could still select individual atoms, or if we go to residue mode, we could select an entire amino acid residue. So you can select that one, select that one. It's gonna select one residue at a time every time you click it. If you go to chain, it's gonna select an entire chain. So we can see it's like half the structures so is a two chain structure. So we select one of the chains, but not the other chains. Um, yeah, we can also deselect that chain and then select this chain. It's also possible. Um, or we could just do the entire molecule. And uh, another cool thing, you may have seen me point up in the sky and then actually use my offhand uh, index finger and it'll deselect everything. Uh, you can do it with your main hand as well, but you know, there's a probability you might accidentally just be selecting things there. But if you point up in the sky, it'll go ahead and deselect everything. And that could be pretty helpful as well. Uh, the last part about selector tool is gonna be range. And with that, you're gonna go ahead and place it, and then you're gonna let go over where you want it to end, and it's gonna select everything in between. And so this gives you a good range. Uh, so you could select, you know, you want to select from here to here. Whoops, sorry. From here, oops. from here to here. Boom. Pretty simple. So yeah, hope that you uh, enjoy that. And now uh, we have actually saved one of the most fun tools for last. This is going to be the drawing tool. If you go ahead and take out the whiteboard tool, you're going to see in your right hand you actually have this nice little you know, dry erase marker uh, sponsored by Nanom. Thanks for providing these markers for us. And on that, you could write you know, pretty much anything. So if you wanted to you know, make sort of a chemical structure, you know, I, I wasn't really the best at, at drawing hexagons, but you kind of get an idea for what you want. Uh, just sketch it out. You know, this is our benzene that we had earlier. Um, you know, Sam kind of you know, added a, a few different things over there. And so yeah, it really just depends on you know what you're trying to make. Uh, you could also just draw pretty much anything. Yeah, it's really fun. So let me give you a taste of that. I just made our benzene into the dot of the Nanom logo. <laughs> Very nice, yeah. Steve. So you'll know, have fun with it. Uh, you could change your colors. You know, black is default. Uh, you could add some you know nice reds in there. Uh, some yellows, you know, maybe make a little little sun for your drawing. Uh, know, Steve. Some greens, you know, get some grass. You know, another that. thing that you can do on, on here is you can also write and draw on PDFs. And so hmm. I think, you know, with the whiteboard, not only are you able to draw, but everyone has their own personalized whiteboard. And so you can actually toggle the visibility of it in the environment. So Steve is now hiding his private whiteboard. So he can see it. But when he has the share on, we can all see it. He can go undo and redo different edits, and he can actually save this as an image and then bring it back into the room. And then we are actually able to draw on it together. Um, if it kind of pass presenter back and forth and be able to draw and continue the drawings. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I just clicked on the save button here. You could save as, uh, I'm just gonna name this whiteboard ST enter, and we're gonna go ahead and export that. And how we could see that this is you know, exactly what I had on the whiteboard earlier. Uh, but now what's really cool is that if I wanted to, you know, make some edits here and, you know, draw something and then say, hey, Sam, how about you go ahead and, you know, make your own edits? Why don't you change that? Yeah, absolutely. Sam could then I take, will, uh, you know, the same image. And uh, make some, make some additions. There you go. Nice. Nice. Looking good. All right, cool. We covered right. everything. Well, um, yeah, this has been moment. a pretty deep dive on all the tools. Um, you know, again, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up this menu by clicking on modify. It brings up all the tools. Uh, there's also a shortcut. It's the uh, the top thumb button on your right hand that pulls up a little circle um, that has all the options there. And then you just choose the option you want, let go, and you'll also be there. So, you know, two different ways to change your tools. 
Uh, we hope that you know everything you know is making sense and that you're able to use these tools to create something you know truly innovative in the world. So yeah, thanks for joining us in this tutorial series.